Good morning, friends. I am here at my Azure Standard order pickup. I'm going to head out, pick up my order, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So let's go, let's get the boxes, let's load them up, and then we're gonna go back home, and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got and just give you the details. So let's go. Just got back from picking up the order and loading it into the car. I just had two boxes, but the way Azure Standard works is you actually help unload the full truck. And the drop that I have is a lot of people. So I'm winded from unloading the truck and then one of my boxes is pretty heavy. So I just had two relatively small boxes, but you wouldn't believe the size of some of these people's orders. I mean, huge orders, huge bags, like they must be feeding a family of 10. So anywho, okay friends, um, let's, get, let's get some Starbucks and let's get home. And I wanna show you my order. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Chris is unloading the car for me, bringing in our boxes, and I'm taking care of my car. Would you like some oatmeal or toast? No. Toast? No. <laughs> toast. Okay. Sure thing. There you go. No. no. <laughs> Where's Dada? Dada. Where are the doggies? Doggies. Yeah. Oh, can you put them on the counter? Because there's some cold things that I need to put in the fridge. Oh, okay. What? It's like on candy camera. Really heavy, right? Oh, yeah. The bottom one is. I know. I had to From carry it to the car. With both of them. Huh? From a dead lift with both of them. Can we see what's in here? Ooh. Is that a box? Should we open? Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe Dada can help us open it in a second. Okay. Ah, it's stuck. I'm gonna cut it. Ooh, what's in here? Don't hold him for a second. Should I unload this? Dada, hold you. Okay. Do you want to see what's in here? Mm. In. Okay, we got. Some cocoa powder. Daddy. We got some coconut cream powder. Daddy. Everything's a monitor. This is like something I wanted to try using for like, um, if I don't have. Oh, here's one one of the cashew yogurts. Did you buy them separately? Nutritional yeast. Woo! Can you shake it? Some finer sea salt. I'll scare the kitty. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Okay friends, Malachi and I are gonna show you everything we got, okay? So this haul was about $211. I got a few dollars off for various reasons, so it ended up coming up to $175. So I just wanted to show you guys everything we got. Can you, you wanna go down? Sure. Okay, Malachi was being very unhelpful as most toddlers are. So we're gonna start over. So I got some dried mango, mostly for snacking. Um, it's basically like natural dessert. <laughs> and I also got some coconut cream powder. This I'm planning on using for things like soups, curries, um, and even making coconut milk. So as you can see, Azure Standard patches all of their products in these 
brown paper bags which is really nice because we don't have any plastic when we get anything from them from their brand so this is cocoa powder um, I buy everything organic so here's some organic flour this is just all-purpose flour which I use for baking and making sourdough and then I got another batch of cashews I just get the organic cashew pieces if you get the pieces instead of the whole cashews you'll save money so we really have no need for whole cashews we just need the pieces so it saves a little bit of money another order of walnuts because i've been really enjoying making walnut oat date nut milk that's been really fun i got a 10 pound bag of spelt flour this is definitely the cheapest i was able to find it organic spelt flour I had bought it from Amazon before in a pinch because I can't find it locally. And so really excited to be able to get organic spelt flour, 10 pounds of it for baking. I've been doing a lot of spelt sourdough, spelt pita, um, really trying to transition over most of my sourdough to kind of more ancient grains like spelt. I did try to order einkorn flour and even put it in my cart and everything, but then um, eventually it was out of stock, so it did not come. So hopefully I'll get that in my order next time oat groats i typically buy rolled oats and i've been trying to make oat milk with rolled oats but from everything i've researched oat milk can get rather slimy with rolled oats and i have the almond cow which is a nut milk maker which doesn't require you to strain it so i am hoping to try making oat milk with oat groats as they recommend using whole oats so i'll let you know how that goes a five pound bag of chocolate chips because Chris eats them like crazy and um, these are semi-sweet organic chocolate chips and you can technically technically get chocolate chips cheaper elsewhere but you can't always find organic you can't always find vegan chocolate chips that are just semi-sweet without any milk added and these are great because you eliminate all that plastic packaging I also bought some nutritional yeast we go through a lot of nutritional yeast especially when making like cheesy style recipes um, whether it's vegan cheese vegan cheesy sauce any like a lot of our pasta recipes basically nutritional yeast is kind of a staple in our house um, so <clears throat> it's also even if you're not vegan it's really good like sprinkled on popcorn it's generally fortified with vitamin b12 um, so it's it's a great addition. It has that nice cheesy flavor. So if you're lactose intolerant or if you're vegan like we are, or if you just want to try something new, check out nutritional yeast. We also go through a lot of seeds. So I got two bags of chia seeds. They were sold out of the larger sizes. So I just got two pounds. We go through these really fast because we make oatmeal. Um, we make granola a lot. We do, I'll do chia seeds on our bagels and our bread. So we go through a lot of cheese seeds in our house and we typically buy it in bulk from Costco. So I am probably gonna just start buying it in bulk from Azure Standard. That was the oven going off telling me that the oven is preheated and ready for the bread. So I'm just gonna finish letting the sourdough rise. I showed you guys me shaping it earlier. So I'll let it rise, then I'm gonna score it and put it in the oven. Just a couple more things I got from the store. Some onion powder, sesame seeds. We love sesame seeds. I got brown sesame seeds. We put them on so much food. Any of our Asian style dishes that we make, I use a ton when I make bagels because I love sesame bagels. I got some Celtic sea salt. Last time I bought Himalayan sea salt, like rock style sea salt, and it's great, but we don't have a grinder. So I mostly use it for recipes where I'm cooking or making something in the blender and blending it up like a sauce. But I haven't, or when I make nut milk, because there's a blender portion in the almond cow. So I use that for nut milk and sauces. But I'm hoping this will be a good option for adding to recipes because it's fine grounded sea salt. Okay, last but not least, we got some cashew milk yogurt. The cool thing about Azure Standard is you can get cold and frozen things from them. So this is just cashew milk yogurt unsweetened and I like that it was the vanilla bean flavor so even though it has vanilla in it it is totally unsweetened and this is a great brand so it came with a pack of three really great brand of of yogurt super clean really has a lot of probiotic benefits and is a great option if you're looking for a non-dairy yogurt um, I do want to start making our own yogurts at some point but right now i'm making all of our own nut milk all of our own bread products like burger buns english muffins pitas loafs sandwich bread i'm making so much bread and i'm making a lot of nut milk and i'm making all of our own granola so i've been really busy doing from scratch cooking and coconut milk yogurt or cashew milk yogurt is just not something i want to add to that list right now 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the fridge. That's everything we got. I, if you're interested in trying Azure Standard, check out the link in the description below. If you add to your order through that link or you sign up through that link, that will help benefit our farm and support what we're doing here at the Sunshine Farm. So we really appreciate that. If you've already used Azure Standard, anything that I should be thinking about adding to my order next time, would love to hear your ideas and recommendations. One thing I wanted to mention with you guys this time around, because last time I got some questions about how we store all of this food, and it's a very valid question because we don't have some large pantry where we put all of our dried and preserved goods. I wish we did, that's a dream one day down the road, but it's not something we have here at this house. So what we do is we put some stuff in our small pantry and we do a lot in these jars as well. So like the salt and the cocoa powder and the chocolate chips, like we'll pour out some of that into jars and store it on our open shelving. And then some of the big bags, like the flowers, those go over on our coffee bar. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. And it's not neat or organized, but it works really well just for those large bulk food storage. And we do have one five gallon bucket full of oats. Um, last month we got a 40 pound bag of oats. So that has been serving us very well. Um, we, have, we have oatmeal all the time. Malachi eats oatmeal a lot, even for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've been making all of our own granola. We use oats to make oat milk. So we have a lot of oats. So let me just show you where I'm gonna put some of these bags. So as you can see, everything kind of fits really nicely down there. It's not organized, it doesn't look beautiful, but it's very functional. We built this coffee bar and it's just worked out so well. So if you have a small kitchen like we do and you're looking for storage solutions, highly recommend something like a multiple shelf coffee bar in an area where you're not really going to be walking anyways. So I have the bread in the oven, it smells delicious. It's just got like 30 more minutes to go and I can't wait to slice into it in a little bit. You want pet pat? Pat, pat? Sure. Pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, can you say, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends. Bye, baby. <laughs> bye, baby. <laughs> bye.